asks a question from non-Muslim brother on the slip. It's Christopher Lobo asks, how can you prove that 9-11 was an inside job? Brother Lobo has asked that how can I prove 9-11 was an inside job? I've got the proofs. I can repeat the proof. It has been proven by the people. Just a few days back, there was an article that came in the newspaper that 75 professors of US, they say they believe that 9-11 was an inside job. And in the article, it was mentioned, it came in Times of India, I think on the 7th of September. It says that 75 professors and scientists belonging to different universities from different parts of US, they believe that 9-11 was inside job. And they say that there were some politicians in White House who have engineered the destruction of the Twin Towers. And they say the main reason was so that they could attack and they could have control of the oil-rich countries. Open secret, I told you. One of the professors by the name of Steve Jones, he says that we do not believe that 19 hijackers and a few men in the cave in Afghanistan could have done such a professional job alone. They could not have done it. We don't believe, and by God, we are going to come to the truth and we are going to expose. We don't believe in the theory of the government. They don't believe in the theory of the government. And he further goes on to say that we as being professors and scientists, we know that the steel beam of the Twin Towers, they couldn't have melted at the temperature at which the jet fuel was there. And there were systematic bomb explosions which caused this to come down. Otherwise, it cannot come down. There are many tapes. There are many books written against it. I happened to watch many of them. I even happened to watch the video recording of this Professor Steve Jones. And yesterday's paper, we got another news. Three days later, Professor Steve Jones sent on a paid leave. <laughs> Imagine, paid leave. There are many tapes. If you happen to watch one of the tapes by the name of Loose Change 9-11, it was done by a young American of 21 years old. He makes a one-hour documentary. There are many. Many are there. This 9-11 documentary, it has collected clips from the various of CNN, of Fox Channel, all the news clipping, he took interviews, etc., and made a one-hour documentary. And then he says that people who saw the airplane, they said it cannot be a passenger carrier. It looked like a military plane. It didn't have any windows. And when he shows the shooting, when it comes close to the tower, there's another firing done from the wings, which hits the twin tower before the plane. Then further he goes on to prove, he says that he had statements of the management, the construction company, which had constructed the twin towers. They said, it's impossible. The twin tower were made to withstand storm, to withstand tornado. This plane cannot knock it down. And it cannot come down because the fuel burns at 1,000 degrees temperature. This, even for 2,000 degrees temperature, for hours, nothing will happen to it. Ten days later, he changes the statement and said, no, it's possible jet fuel can cause damage to the beams. Another professor who gave the statement, he didn't withdraw his statement back, so he was sacked. <laughs> Furthermore, what they did, that in the documentary they show that when the Twin Towers came down, like how you willfully get down any building, and he gave statistics that many buildings in New York, tall skyscrapers, 40 floors, 60 floors, they caught fire for many hours, but none of them came down. It is the first building in the history of USA. It has come down that way. And he showed photographs that when building it deliberately brought down, how do they get down by the explosion? The same way it came down. There was systematic bomb blast, and people who went to rescue, whether it be the firemen, they were interviewed, they said that we were thinking that someone up was pressing the bomb button and the bombs were going out, boom, boom, boom. So how the Twin Towers come down? They have given proof. Furthermore, they say that all the proofs given by the government, they analyzed. They said 19 hijackers, some of them, they were trained as flying off the plane. They went to the university and they interviewed the professors. Do you think that this person can do such an act? Impossible. The way the plane took a turn, and I have personally spoken to senior pilots who have flown big Boeings, and Airbuses for several years, they said it's impossible to take such a turn. And imagine just a new person of few hundred of us takes a turn. What the experts say, it has to be a military plane. Furthermore, information given by the government, you know, phone calls were there. Phone calls. 
Phone call said that they fed the passenger in the plane. They claimed that they were hijacked. One of the phone calls was by a flight attendant. She says that buildings, water, my God, my God. She's been flying for 12 years. Hasn't seen buildings in New York. Another person, he says, Mom, this is Mark Bingham. Mom, can you hear me? We have been hijacked. Do you believe? The question to be asked, if I'm going to speak to my mom, I will say Zakir. I'll not say Zakir next speaking. He said I'm Mark Bingham. Mom, I'm Mark Bingham. If Mark has to speak to the mom, he will say Mark. He will not say Mark Bingham. <laughs> he gives systematic proofs. Do you speak to your mother telling your surname? So all the proofs, all the phones were taped down. And then he did a survey that can the mobile phone work at 32,000 feet. When a survey was done at 4,000 feet, the chances of mobile working is 0.4%. At 8,000 feet, it is... 0.1%. And 32,000 feet, it is 0.006%. 0.006. There's no chance. And the documentary says that today, USA is spending millions of dollars to reach mobile at that height. In 2001, they did it. <laughs> then, there are many documentaries. Then the documentary says that there are black boxes. Every plane has got two black boxes. And the black boxes can withstand a temperature of 3,000 degrees centigrade for several hours. And in just 1,000 or 2,000 degrees, all the black boxes have been destroyed. He goes on systematically. And immediately, after a couple of weeks, Osama bin Laden, he gives an interview on the Ummah magazine. And he says that I am a Muslim, I will not lie. According to me, killing innocent women is prohibited, it is wrong. Killing innocent children is wrong. Killing any innocent human being is wrong, and Islam condemns it. Osama bin Laden giving an interview and saying that, a couple of days back, you get a video clipping from Al Jazeera. Osama bin Laden training, 9-11. Because 75 professors say it, and inside job, now they manipulate, and after five years, they're showing on the television. Why? So here we realize everything, it was inside job. And these 75 professors, they have promised, by God, we will come to the bottom of it. Regarding the second attack at Pentagon. At Pentagon, when the airplane crashed, there was no scraping on the grass. Nothing. Only a hole in the Pentagon. And the hole was only equal to the body of the plane. And we see a crater, and they showed on the television. But when the wings went, the wings weren't seen outside, neither were the window panes damaged of the Pentagon. If a plane body goes in and the wing stays out, either the wing will remain outside or the window pane will damage. The building was intact. So how could only in the circumference of a body of a plane, how can the wings go in as well as the tail? I mean, it's fabricated. The people who said that, you know, the plane went just 40 feet above my head. Today, science tells us that if Boeing is flying at 40 feet above my head, that car will fly away. <laughs> An interview was taken of ex-military person. He said, it sounded like a missile. It had to be a missile. The missile would make that hole. And there was no debris. There was debris, only a little bit debris. There was no part of the plane found there. There was only a small engine of a fighter plane found there. Even in the other place, they only find a crater. Time doesn't permit me. The amount of ample of evidence given there, even a fool will know that this was an inside job. But it doesn't convince George Bush. And what they say, the reason is only to attack Afghanistan, Iraq, and then Iran. They have been predicting that Iran is going to be attacked. They want to have control of the oil-rich countries. So this terrorist attack is for what? One is injustice. Second is for money. It's for power. And when any politicians find that he's going to lose the vote, he creates a fear psychosis. OK, you better elect me, or the Muslims will get you, and they elected. Same thing in Gujarat. A fear psychosis was created. If you don't elect us, the Muslims will kill you, and the government came back in power. So what we realized, that this was nothing but an inside job. And there are several tapes, and several VCDs available. 9-11, loose change, then Fahrenheit, many. And if you see all this, it is a blatant open secret that this attack on the Twin Towers was done by George Bush himself. The, the